I haven't bought anything since the Black Friday Christmas deal. So this is my first order of the year. I ended up grabbing one box on sale because they had their premium points at Omnia where you got 2x points if you bought a reel or a rod. And then anything you put in the cart. So basically with the premium membership, I was getting 20% back rebate in points, which is really great on things like Shimano reels, Mega Bass gear, things that are typically code protected. I jumped on that on February 27th, which was the last day. So that's expired. But if you don't have premium, you might want to get it because it's totally worth it. I will have a link down in the description below uh, if you think premium is worth it because it's not very often you can get 20% off on some of those code protected rods and reels. If you get them in rebate, tacky you're going to spend in the future. It makes total sense. And then I thought that wasn't too bad because, hey, I hadn't bought anything in a long, long time. And then somebody told me one of the lures in this box just came in stock. And so I checked it out. And that got me thinking about another lure from the same company to see if they would have been on the same shipment. And then all thinking I know I spent several hundred dollars on this box. So we got a couple hundred dollars in each of these boxes. And uh, let's rip into them right now. So box number one. Arsenal battle braid scissors to get into it. Of course, we got our note. Thank you for your order and good luck on the water, Sydney. That's a sustainable recycling tackling material that we'll recycle or save for later. Let's see what we have in the box. So, the main thing that drove this order is I decided this would be a time to cash in and get one of these Corrado MGL 150s that I've heard so much about nice little reel uh heard good things I, I bought this mainly as a reaction bait moving bait reel i got the six three to one so i'm thinking probably a crankbait reel of some kind i might use this uh i know i haven't done my cadence 735 cb video review because i just don't love the reel that's on it and this might uh take its place and then maybe they'll get a little more action and i'll get that review done let's uh take a look at this in a little more in depth Instructions, got your little bit of oil from Shimano, some bubble wrap. There she is. A nice flat matte finish. That kind of seems like it might need a little bit of oil. I don't know if it's Shimano, I forget, Shimano over oiled or under oiled. It's one of the Daiwa and Shimano are opposite. I forget which is what. Let me know in the comments. So I don't remember which one is which, but uh, overall, a nice feeling reel sturdy very like everything's tight so out of the box first impression obviously down the road i'll give you uh future impressions on this reel but uh happy with the purchase heard great things about this corrado uh mgl more baits in the box so i got two of these so i've heard things that people say that the eight inch mag draft gets way more bites than the six inch mag draft so i thought you know what? Let's step up. Let's grab a couple of these since we're getting the uh, the double points rebates. And uh, let's catch some bigs this year. The albino is probably the number one color that you hear about, see about mostly in uh, for the Mega Bass Mag Draft. So uh, can't go wrong with that. And then I guess along the same theme here, I got four more baits in this box. I've wanted to get these for a while because I've heard great things about them. And that is the Mega Bass 110 Junior Plus One. This bait in particular is uh, supposed to be really good. I've got some Mega Bass Juniors, but uh, I don't really love them. But I've heard these 110 plus one Juniors are the deal in certain situations. So I've got two of each of two different colors. I got the Cassini ITO. Both of these are pretty good bait fishing, bait fish color imitators. I'm going to actually pop one of these out of the box and get a little closer look at it here. So there's that bait. You know, nothing too crazy. Nice little flash, prism finish, a uh, little bit of translucent, a little bit of reflective, pearl belly. Should be a good color, just generally uh, where anywhere you got bait fish, minnows, shad, things like that. And then we got the ITO natural, which we'll pop that out of the box as well.
give you a good look there. Just another solid bait fish imitator. Nothing too crazy, but just, you know, kind of the meat and potatoes of uh, jerkbait colors. Things that will just pretty much get bit anywhere we go. But a little more compact size when the fishing is a little tough or the bait fish are small and you want to hit that extra depth, that's where the 110 plus one junior comes into play. And as you know, they don't give away 110 jerk baits, so it's nice to get the double points back on these. So that's why I focused on those baits. So that was order number one. But then, hey, yeah, our friend Punch Fishing alerted me to another sale, and that has caused us to reorder another box. And this one kind of got to be the kind, you know, that slippery slope where you like add a few things to your cart and you got some gift cards and some credit built up. And so you go for the things that you wanted to get. And then you end up getting all the other things you kind of wanted to get or things that you've been kind of thinking about getting, but you hadn't pulled the trigger on. Well, that's kind of what this order is. Kind of a try some new things for spring. There's a couple things here I reloaded on. And we'll talk about those. But the main thing here is some new items. Andrew, <laughs> new pack race says tight order homey. So thanks, Andrew. Glad you appreciate my taste. Maybe you guys uh, follow along a little as well. Let me know. So this has got a whole box of goodies here. And we got beef jerky, boat snacks. Awesome. We're going to start out with the two baits that uh, Brian alerted me to. And that is the, the reintroduction of the Jackal Blings. The Jackal Blings are back after being discontinued. Jackal has a a history of developing really good baits and then discontinuing them. And then people go crazy about them, pay outrageous money for them on eBay. Uh, and then they sometimes ring up, sometimes they back several other baits. I got two of them. Didn't want to go too crazy. Uh, I got a molting craw and a dark craw. Both of them pretty good looking colors. Spring, flat side. These are, you know, not giant crankbaits. They're pretty, I'll give you a, take one out quick. I'll compare the uh, the molting craw on the Bling 55 to a uh, a Fritz side five, just so you can get a, a feel for it. They're actually pretty comparable in size. Um, thing, it's actually just even. It's a touch smaller profile than the uh, the Berkeley, but it's a little thicker. Weight wise, I'm not sure. It's five sixteenths of an ounce. It's two point two inches. Kind of similar applications on when you would use a uh, bling in a, in a uh, Fritz side five. So, but uh, some good looking craw colors might be inspired by uh, some some good designs out there that uh, they may have borrowed or not. Uh, maybe the judge. It's kind of the kind of a, almost like a two different rattles in this bling. Two different size. There's like small beaties and a heavier knocker in there. There's like two different things going on in there. Whereas outside of the hardware, the Fritz side is actually silent, whereas he still has a pretty heavy rattle. Much different uh, sounding baits overall. So the blings and the tip from Brian got things rolling for this order. So that got me thinking, well, if they got an order of Jackal in, what other bait do I really like that comes from Jackal that are typically out of stock and are really hard to find? So I grabbed four <laughs> jerk baits. The Jackal Rearranged and Secret Shad. Now, this bait has won me a fair amount of money in the spring, in the fall, large mouth, small mouth. I don't know where my chewed up version is here. I'll, I'll throw some uh, some B-roll, some juicy B-roll of an, a, a battle-tested game-worn one. But whether it's smallies in the spring, summer, largies in the fall, all year, this Jackal Rearranged 110 MR, the, the, the deep runner, the medium runner, has been a staple for me. I decided to go ahead and grab all four that they had in stock because I just love this jerk bait. This thing is uh, a confidence bait for me. Uh, and to me, this uh, secret shad, which is kind of a table rock shad, kind of a jaint juice looking thing, just gets bit. And then these things have this weight transfer system in them that every time you cast them, they, uh, they sound like you're breaking your rod tip. But uh, they cast further than a 110, get bit, and... Uh, they're actually, you know, compared to the 110s, they're a lot cheaper. So because I like that so much, I decided to grab a couple other colors. I got this Silver Shad, which is just kind of a, you know, a bait fish, nothing too crazy, standard looking jerk bait. Thought I had some other colors, something a little less 
you know, more bait fish. And then I grabbed this perch collar, which I wasn't really sure about. It's kind of a matte perch. It's kind of a, a realistic finish. It's almost reminds me of the, uh, I don't know, like <laughs> the live target paint jobs back in the day. So I don't know if I love that, but I thought I should at least have a perch colored jerk bait in this lineup for some deeper smallies, natural lakes, and uh, we'll see. If nothing else, maybe they'll chew on a little bit, roughen up that paint job and look a little more natural. But if you want to grab some of these uh, jackal jerk baits, they don't last long. So uh, I imagine if people get wind of it, they won't last long. But I will put links to basically everything I bought down in the description below. Uh, so that if you want to grab them, you can. And uh, some of these things, especially in the second order, you can use my, my code. that will be in the description as well to hook yourself up. And it helps the channel a little bit. And you get to uh, get a little bit of that Omnia customer service and fast shipping and try it for yourself. So then once I was into this order now, a decent amount, right? We got uh, six jerk baits and two flat sides, kind of premium. So uh, then it was time to check out the wish list for things that I've been thinking about buying that I hadn't bought. So I bought some of these magic missile baits worms, which I have bought a pack of these and I have not used them yet. These are made by Robo Worm uh, for missile baits. But when I bought the other ones earlier, they did not have the green pumpkin money, which is, I got the, uh, Actually, I have the other color here. I got some of the Missile Mornings previously, but I wanted to have a more natural green pumpkin color. So these were out last time I ordered. So this is the uh, the other color. And this is kind of a, a laminate green pumpkin. Just a nice looking, good looking worm here. I don't know. Little Put a little chartreuse, you know, dip it on the tip of that. Drop shot. Be good looking worm. Definitely excited to try those and... Uh, have some more options for some straight tail drop shot in the boat. A relatively new bait, and I'm kind of a sucker for these. As a, as a person that likes menace scrubs, uh, as a jig trailer, I'm always looking for alternatives. And the Six Sense Bongo is a, uh, a, a craw, a 3.7 inch craw, jig trailer, swim jig trailer, flipping bait that I've kind of had my eye on. And uh, they have the green pumpkin juice here, about two colors. I've got the green pumpkin juice and the green pumpkin blue. I'm a guy that likes a little bit of flake in my green pumpkin. And I like kind of a natural color. And uh, here's the green pumpkin juice. And it's kind of, I mean, menace scrub with a little more flange, a little bit different shape body, a little bit softer that I would say than a menace scrub, a little bit bigger. Can kind of bump up that profile just a little bit. I could definitely see this using it as a bladed jig trailer. A jig trailer. Uh, it could be fished on its own on a jig head. Uh, good looking bait. And then here's the green pumpkin blue, which so that's the uh, the two colors I got are green pumpkin juice, green pumpkin blue. Probably use those pretty interchangeably. They're both good looking colors. The green pumpkin blue is just a touch darker uh, green pumpkin. And these are the new series plastics from Six Sense that are actually poured and made in the USA. Kind of just a plastic smell to them, but uh, you know what? That's all right. Powered by the Sixth Sense Lure Lab, it says. But uh, yeah, I like the looks of the bongo. I don't know if you've tried the bongo. Let me know down in the comments, but I think this will definitely get some use, and I'll, I'll catch some fish on these. Along that same vein, another thing that was been in my wish list on Omnia has been the... Uh, I want to try these. I had the three inchers last year. Similar thing, this boss scrub from Powerbait, which is similar to a minute scrub. The three inch was really pretty small and I didn't actually have a really great usage for it. Maybe on a mini max chatterbait or something like that. But uh, I got this uh, skeet screen money here and these are still even a little small yet, even as a four inch, quite a bit more diminutive than, uh, I don't know, the, the uh, definitely a little smaller, much more smaller appendages than even a Menda scrub. And I don't think it'll have quite the quick, more subtle. So in a situation where I'm looking for more subtlety, Maybe this would be an option. This could actually could probably be a decent little spinnerbait trailer. You know, much different than, I don't know, maybe we'll, uh, do I have a menace scrub handy? Blasphemy not to have a menace scrub on deck here. All right, I was able to borrow a menace scrub off a Bass Tech jig here that was in my box. So there's the, uh, the menace scrub. So I guess they are the same size, but there's something about it that feels a little less. I mean, the body is maybe just a touch smaller, um, but that just feels like the presence of the tail is going to be quite a bit less. And we could even lay that out against a bongo here. The bongo is definitely more substantial than either one of them. Uh, but that, uh, for whatever reason, the, the boss scrub feels less 
like less of a presence. Two more bag packages of plastic here. The new Shape 108 from Berkeley. I got a pack of the three and a half inch and a pack of the four inch. I got the goat color and the bluegill flash. So these both are kind of in that same style here. Not a huge fan of the plastic blisters, to be honest, of any of the Berkeley baits. So this is the uh, bluegill flash. Is it actually a really nice looking color? It's got like this hard silver metal flake, green pumpkin, kind of almost like tilapia magic with a heavy metal flake. On, I could see this really being a really nice swim jig trailer or when you're fishing around you know a spawn shad or something like that where there's i don't know that's, that's an interesting color love that power bait smell and then we have the uh the goat color in the four inch and this four inches it's four inches like it's it's funny this is a four inch shape 108 <laughs> and when you compare this to a four inch supposedly boss scrub like i don't know how those are both four inches the uh, the four inch one hundred eight is definitely. I mean, that's just over four inches. But I don't know on what plant. Maybe these are mislabeled because this uh, boss scrub that I got is literally three and a quarter. I'm at man scrub is definitely about three and a half inches, and then the three and a half inch. Yeah, I mean the. But there's the. Anyways, there's the two one hundred eights. Goat color. And bluegill flash. I like both these colors a lot. The goat is definitely gives you that vibe. It's a little softer of a laminate than a 1099 or a super bug or something like that. But uh, overall, a good looking color. This one, you know, you could bulk that up and throw that on a big jig, a big half three quarter ounce jig when you're really trying to size up. I could see using this on a buzz bait <laughs> as a trailer, but also just a, a flipping bait like a rage craw. Um, I think day in and day out, I think that's three and a half inch would be my main one if I end up using this shape 108 a lot. As I mentioned, all the stuff, we went pretty fast. Links in the description below if you want to check any of them out and grab some for yourself. All right, how did I do on the uh, initial first orders of spring? Did I invest well? What did you think? What was your favorite bait? Are there anything that you'd want to see future, just like full video breakdowns on any of these baits? Let me know. If you're into like tackle gear, stuff like that, make sure you check out in the playlist coming up right here.